Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Something crazy happened with my WRX and in this video I'm going to tell you everything about what happened. It involved me driving on the highway, hitting a piece of cement, and doing some damage to my car. So I'm sure you guys are interested to hear what happened. If you aren't familiar with the channel, I'm going to roll the intro now so you guys can see my car. And we're doing a lot of build stuff, but I'm going to roll that intro now. I hope you enjoyed the intro. That's what my car looks like. I probably will run some other clips throughout the video of what it looks like and kind of like some beauty shots, some b-rolls to keep the video interesting. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to consider subscribing, but let's get right into it. Pretty unfortunate day when it happened. It's been like a month since. I'm sitting in my garage now, but I'm actually gonna show you everything later. So let me tell you about what happened. So it was a crazy day, normal day. I was driving, it was nighttime. It was like 2 a.m. I was coming back from playing pool with my friends. Uh, I was driving on the highway, going about 50 miles an hour, and something fell off a truck in front of me. Big piece of concrete, almost like a curb, and I drove over it. So I was able to like drive, I was like driving like this. I was able to drive and kind of like hit it while turning away from it, because I was like slowing down as it happened. Fortunately, I was like watching it happen. I went over a curb, basically, in my car at 40 miles an hour. And I was able to get only the front two wheels over it, and then avoid it and the back two wheels weren't there to hit it. So I didn't do any damage to my car, fortunately. Uh, it's been like, I've been driving the car for about a month since. There's a, that's the reason I haven't been making videos. Um, but I broke my front two wheels, uh, if you can believe that. Both front flat tires, but I broke the wheels themselves. So I'm gonna show you those, I'm gonna roll those wheels out, show you guys the wheels. They're the Avid One AV20s. Uh, but then I also bought new ones. Um, so I'm gonna roll the wheels out, which are like behind me in my garage. That's that's one of them. Uh, and I'll show you guys the wheels. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, you know, the cons to going forged versus cast wheels, you know, spending real money versus not spending a lot of money on wheels. Like they have their benefits. I got hurt by that because the wheels like cracked because they're cast and they're cheap wheels. But I think the same thing would have happened if I had really expensive wheels. I spent like $400 replacing them, shipped, and I got them in like two seconds, so I bought a new set of them. And then the tires weren't too expensive either. And if this had been much more expensive wheels, I might have claimed something on my insurance and gone through that whole process. But I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna buy new wheels or do whatever I wanna do, sell these and go for something new, something like that. But let's, I mean, let's look at the wheels. Let's look at the wheels. These are the two front wheels, and we'll look at them individually. Both tires are flat but let's start th with this one. So you can see here, the, the tire is flat obviously, and it happened somewhere underneath here, but this is where I actually hit the piece of concrete. You can see the crack here in the actual wheel itself, and it runs pretty far. I mean, that's my finger. It's probably like a two inch crack here, but I hit the concrete. It must've split the tire underneath. It shaved off the section here. I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty shaved and warped there. And then the crack runs about two, you know, one and a half, two inches into the well of the wheel. So not usable, not something you want to drive. And because it's a cast wheel, uh, you don't want to fix it. But let's look at the other wheel real quick. For reference, we're looking at the top right corner of the wheel again. So this one's a little bit more obvious. The, we hit the, I hit the concrete here and the concrete plus whatever was shaved off here ripped my tire, which is a bummer. My tires had maybe 4,000 miles on them. Probably not even that. So pretty new tires, short sidewall though. And then you can see again, bigger crack here, not as long. You can tell it definitely split the wheel here. Uh, super bummer. So, you know, this is one of the reasons why cast wheels are not as great because they break easily, right? If this was a forged wheel, I would have seen shaving like this, but not necessarily a crack. Could have been cracked, but this is more what you'll see with a cast wheel. It's a bummer, but the great part here is it's only gonna cost me a couple hundred bucks to replace these if I choose to buy these again, which I think I am. So a couple hundred bucks to replace them versus thousands or a thousand, positives and negatives here. So I thought I would finish the video with some POV driving. I know you guys like to see the accelerations. So I decided to take the car over to a wooded area near my house and have a little bit of fun with the car. Before I really start talking about why I initially chose the Avid One AV20s, and really the differences between forged and cast and what you're gonna get out of them. 
uh, and just generally, you know, the relationship with money and wheels, I did want to mention to you guys, I'm doing a WRX live stream with a bunch of other WRX creators on June 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it should be a fun thing. You know, drop a comment in the comment section below if you want to get put on some type of email list. Just to remind you, we're creating an event so that you guys can remember on June 20th, I'll be going live with a bunch of other WRX creators and you can, you can ask us any questions you need, learn more about us. It's just gonna be kind of like an open forum. You ask away, we'll talk, we'll talk about the build, other people will talk about the build, we'll talk about common WRX problems, you know, what cars we hope to step into next, but that should be a, that should be a fun thing, so throw it on your calendars. But yeah, so why did I originally pick the Avid 1 AV20s? I wanted to go for aftermarket wheels, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I didn't really know too much about the ownership of aftermarket wheels, and I'm so happy I went with a wheel that doesn't cost a lot of money because it allowed me to test out and understand you know, how are these wheels, like what's the upkeep, what's the care, or is there a risk to scratching them? Obviously there's a risk to scratching wheels, but you know, it's like a front lip. You kinda wanna have a cheap one first to understand if you wanna spend real money on one because it is easy to damage them. You have to adjust how you drive your car. And uh, you know, this is my second set of Avid 1 AV20s. I love the cheap wheels. I love not having to worry about $2,000 on my car in wheels. And that was just such, you know, when I was looking at wheels initially, that was just such a powerful factor that every time I drove the car, I would be worried about, you know, these expensive wheels. And if anyone ever wanted to drive my car that wasn't me, I'd have to worry about them parking it, getting curb rash, all these things. So I started with a cheap wheel, and cheap wheels are usually cast wheels. Actually, they're almost always cast wheels and not forged. And when I say forged, I just really mean machined wheels. So machined out of a solid block of some type of metal. And cast wheels are much less expensive, and Avid is a great example. They're one of the most, you know, most popular companies uh, that have made cast wheels that have, you know, that are great, they hold up, they're not bent, they don't warp easily. But one of the downsides to cast wheels is they just have lower strength and they can take less impact. And you can see with what happened with my wheels, it's a great example. I hit something and the wheels cracked. And that might not have happened with forged or machined wheels, but I still would have gotten some shavings and I probably would have damaged the wheels enough that I wouldn't want to continue using them. So the event that happened to me is a great example of something like a mishap can happen and you can lose your investment in your wheels. And I say investment because Yes, you could still sell these wheels used. So ultimately wheels are pay to play. So you kind of pay what you want to get out of them. And for me, I want the look of aftermarket wheels, but I don't want to have a huge investment there. I don't want that to be something that I'm constantly worried about. So I pay to play and I pay to play cheaply. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, oh no, so now does your car have an accident on it? No, well one, because I didn't report anything to my insurance, but no in reality, because I damaged my wheels. And you know, they're, if you think about everyday driving, when you curb your wheels, and people curb their wheels pretty bad, that that is just as bad as what happened to my wheels. You know, curbing your wheels can actually warp your wheels. Ultimately, mine was you know wheel failure, but that's because I put cast wheels on it, and that's why they cracked. And it's like getting a flat tire. Like a lot of people get nails in their tires. So I'm calling this more of a mishap. It's definitely not an accident. It's definitely not something that you know if this happens to you, it's not something that's going to be considered an accident. Now, if you do report it to your insurance. It may be considered an accident because you're looking to get an insurance payment out of it. And you know, I if I had two thousand dollar wheels, you know, two thousand dollars total, like five, six hundred bucks a wheel plus the tires, I might have reported something, but I would have had to really weigh the costs because having a quote unquote accident on your, your car's record lowers the value of the car. So it's not an accident, but it's definitely a mishap that I wish uh, I wish hadn't happened. And it's a bummer and I wasn't able to drive the car for a long period of time. But the, you know, the positives are I got two new wheels and everything else was okay. I, this happened two months ago. I filmed the, most of the video a month ago and now I'm finally getting the video out there and doing the rest of the drive. So it's been two months. And you know, the new wheels at this point are already on the car. I haven't let you guys know what they are, but the car's running great. Uh, I did, when it initially happened, I did have a little bit of worry just about you know, some of the suspension parts, but I've put a lot of miles on the car and I've actually, you know, I took, I took the wheels off, looked through everything, cleaned everything up, went through everything, and everything is looking a-okay and as good as, as good as ever. So I'm excited that, you know, the car's fine now, you know, knock on wood that anything else is happening. Lots of videos to come. I'm actively working on the videos. I apologize for the slowdown. COVID-19 has, you know, made my work schedule hectic. I feel fortunate that I'm still working. Uh, but I am working a lot, so I haven't had as much time. 
uh, to film videos. I know a lot of YouTubers are putting out a lot of content right now because they do have time, so I hope to get on that bandwagon soon. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.